now the next step would be uh, we would like to set up some uh, writing not, uh, writing when when we are writing when one of our developers is writing the code in your project uh, we want to make sure that they are following some uh, some uh, standards in writing code so one code one developer's code uh, doesn't look like different than the other so for that we are going to be using a linting uh, package called ESLint so let's install that npm install again a dev dependency so hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev and that would be ESLint okay so uh, to get the going with ESLint let's look at uh, ESLint website and try to configure it in our project we need to put a couple of things in our uh, package.json so we are going to go there eslint.org get started instead get started we have just installed eslint okay what next next would be the configuration right so we need to put some rules uh, inside eslint config okay so there it is so once it is installed you can see eslint is installed we need to eslint inside code because this is json so eslint config right that's the all our config would go within this so we're just going to copy this rules would go or you can just run eslint in it let's see how does that perform okay so instead of typing it out myself i'll just try to run eslint in it and i believe Okay, that quite will have that quite did not work. Uh, let's go ahead with what we were already doing, which is eslint config, right? Inside this config, we are going to be adding some rules. Okay, so the rule stated in this is what it's saying is if, if a semicolon is missing, show an error, but we did not want that, we want a warning. So we'll add a warning. If there is quotes, quotes if it is single. We prefer single quotes. So if there are double quotes anywhere, it will throw a warning again. We just want warnings, right? Let's look out for some more. We need to add this as well. Recommend it. Right, we'll add recommend it here. Uh, that goes like this okay yes lint recommended uh, let's go with some advanced configuration inside advanced configuration we need to set our environments first of all so with an environment uh, and we we need to add <coughs> note we need to add note okay uh we need to have maybe es6 right es6 how this needs to be added we'll see one of the example env we just need to pass true in front of it so node true yes text true right and also since we are running chest just is also a variable here so just true right so that's with the environment yes lint config okay, anything else plug in plug in
parser options. We would need this. ECMA script 6. So ECMA version 6. Okay, so we need a parser options. So we use parser options. Okay, we added parser options, rules, and environment. Okay, I can put move environment above rules. Okay, at the same time, so this configuration is done. And at the same time, I need to install ESLint as an extension by Dirk Bomber. So after this is installed, now when I go to when I go to app.js, you can see install. Uh, let's look into yeah that's what i was saying now we started getting this wriggly lines and it says strings must use single quote right so for this we'll also need prettyfy prettyfy well we can we can change it like this we can change manually at all places or if we don't want we want it to be done automatically throughout our project maybe our project is an old one and we are introducing ESLint now in that case we would want everything to be fixed at all places at once right for that we can install prettyfier and prettyfy uh, well we can integrate it with right prettyfier Prettier, prettier, sorry, prettier. Okay, yeah, we'll look into the next tutorial how to conf uh, configure prettyfy or prettier with this one. All right, see you there.